The mental image is the same that you've seen when you've been to Africa several times, and yet there's been plenty of room for these people uh, that are possessed, the demons, to flail them around. And yet there's no room for them to flail around, and so they're just bouncing off people. <laughs> That's the question. Yes. So, people are being healed, people that are possessed, are being set free. Some hundred people testified of being healed that night on that stage. So I say it was a hundred plus because approximately a hundred people testified of being healed because the first thing I did when I got the mic I went to start praying for people, but I felt at one of those moments that we should, you know, have them put their hand on themselves and pray. And we did that, and it's a low estimate of approximately 100 people that raised their hands saying they were healed. And so then I turned to our pastor because I know she has been working in this area, and I, and I said, I'm willing to do whatever. Uh, we, we see what God has already done, so do we go ahead and just lay hands on them, or are we good, and tomorrow night we come back? She says, oh no, we need to lay hands on them. If we don't lay hands on them, they won't come back tomorrow night. <laughs> so that's why they're here up on this stage. <laughs> and the whole point is they were desperate. So we're on a stage, tin roof, that I found out leaked pretty quickly. And I can't hardly hear anything, and yet they're not leaving. And in fact, I would watch to the side, literally my right side, because that was more to where the town was. I watched others come up and somehow squish in. And add to what was already on the stage. And so we start laying hands on people. God's doing a great work. As I told you, some are being freed from demons. Some are being touched and set free from other things. And so, I don't know how long we had been praying, but I looked down and I knew the, the tin roof was leaking a little bit. Because I had gotten hit by a few drops, but I did not realize that, you know, a few drops add up when you've been under that roof for a long time. So I looked down. I'm wearing my tennis shoes here because we said we didn't get to go back to the lodge. I looked down and my tennis shoes are just full of mud and there's like, you know, water about this high on the stage now. And... Myself, the pastor, we had a, a, cord, a cordless mic like this, but the singers were using corded mics that were running across the stage. <laughs> Dear God, we're not safe, we're not safe Lord. <laughs> so after a while, I turned to our, our pastor and I was like, look, Look down here. <laughs> and so she announces, uh, it is late. The evangelist is tired. Needs some sleep. So be back tomorrow. She announced the time. And if we miss some of you, we'll be praying for you. But to have such a move of God with so many disruptions and so many distractions and so many things to stop us. Amen. And yet, because of the, the tenacity, the, the I can do it, determination, that in that woman of God and that man of God that we were working with, that team from Zimbabwe, we pushed on. And the Mozambican people so desperate for just something from God, help from God, 
deliverance from God. They know, they know it's what, what's going on with them, what's going on in their country. Is it the way it should be? Is it all that God has for them? And so even though the crusade is outside, and even though it's downpour and raining, they refuse to leave. And it's not enough that they lay their hands on themselves and God touches and heals them. They want hands laid on them. They, they, they so desperately want God to move on their life. Yeah. I've never seen such hunger except maybe only, only equal to it what I described to you back some several months ago, the trip to Lusaka, the most poor, poor area. I'm going to go back and describe that, but these people are just so desperate. But the enemy said, don't go. Don't go. And to us, that's what's going on. What? Why are these things happening in my life? That's what's going on. That's why. Your, your car breaks down. That's why it breaks. That's why. 